Next to me, Jim raised his bottle of Cutter's half-court IPA. Welcome back, Ricky. Erica turned her head sharply, then tilted her head in a seductive pose when she saw who'd said it. She clicked on her heels over to where we stood and slid her arm through Jim's. Oh, Jim, you're the only person besides John who can call me that. She pursed her lips in a pout. And he's gone. She stroked his arm with her other hand and cast luminous blue eyes up at Jim. A shadow passed over Jim's face as he carefully detached from Erica's arm and pushed his glasses back up the bridge of his nose. John, his twin, had killed himself in Chicago a year ago. Jim had told me how hard it had been for him, and still was, to lose his twin and to suicide, too. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. I'll call you Erica from now on. No, I want you to call me Ricky. Please? Jim cleared his throat. Have you met my girlfriend, Robbie Jordan? This is her restaurant and country store. He slung his arm along my shoulders, giving my arm a squeeze. Erica narrowed her eyes and studied me before flashing a big smile. She held out her hand. His girlfriend? Well, isn't this a surprise? Nice to meet you, Erica. Welcome back. I forced a smile and shook her hand. I snuck a glance at Jim, who straightened his collar and was looking anywhere but at Erica. I gazed around the store. Almost everyone had stopped what they were doing, food halfway to their mouths, bottles halfway raised, to watch Erica. Isn't this a cute place you've got here, Erica said. It was a real dump last time I lived in town. Robbie did all the renovation work herself, too. Jim's smile at me was genuine. Imagine that. You're so talented, she said in a voice oozing insincerity. I'll be bringing out some hot sliders in a minute, and the pizzas over there are probably still warm if you're hungry. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll let you two have some time to catch up. I cast another quick look at Jim before heading to the kitchen area, and if that wasn't a panicked expression on his face, I don't know what was. Well, he was a big boy. He could handle his former sister-in-law, or not. I sure wasn't going to get in the middle.